Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be looking at vertical shift for sinusoidal function graphs. If you want to follow along, the links to the companion worksheet are in the description below. Also, don't forget to, check th to click that subscribe button so you can see all the other videos that are coming out from this channel. So let's get started. Now the vertical shift of a sinusoid is the idea that normally sine or cosine is on the x-axis. But now, it's not centered on the x-axis. It was here, but then it got moved down to there. There's the middle. So the vertical shift is how far did it move? So the vertical shift, in this case, is negative 4. And we always say, we always include the negative, because the negative tells us whether it moved down or up. And that's how you can have a negative shift. If you look at the second one, we notice that it goes from negative 4 to positive 4. And so another way without looking at the graph to tell where the vertical shift is is just to look at the minimum and the maximum and see what's the halfway number. Well, halfway between negative 4 and positive 4 is 0. And that's where the middle of our sinusoid lies. So for this one, our vertical shift is 0. Didn't move at all at least not up or down. So for the third one, here, our high point is 3 and our low point is negative 1. So what's the number that's halfway between them? It's 1. Right there. So normally this graph would be on the x-axis but it got moved over to there. So our vertical shift is 1. Now for the fourth one, we do the same thing. Here we've got a high point of 2 and a low point of negative 4. So what number is halfway between them? Well, let's just count. Move one space in, one space in, one space in, and once we meet, there's the middle. So normally this graph would be centered on the x-axis, but it got moved down one space. So our vertical shift in this case is negative 1. Now on the last page, we don't have graphs, we just have equations. And so how do we identify the vertical shift? Well, what we're doing is we're asking how is the function moved up or down. So we're asking what are we adding or subtracting outside the function. And so that right there is our vertical shift. In this problem, it's plus 5. In this one, it's minus 3. Now for the last one, we're not adding anything. We're not subtracting anything. So that means it's still centered on 0. So for this one, there is no vertical shift. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have suggestions or problems you want to see worked out, type a comment below. To support the channel, click the Patreon link to help keep this going. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.